Welcome to iFocus Tutorials where I am currently discussing basic to advanced topics in C programming. So in today's video, I will explain the fundamentals of variables and data types in C programming language. So let's get started by first understanding what variables are in programming. So basically variables are named containers that store some value and which can be accessed within a program. So variable is basically a placeholder which has a name associated with it, a value and an address. So this address is a unique address. Now to use a variable, we need to follow a proper syntax. So how we can use it in programming? So we have to mention the data type, then the variable name and by using a equal to that is an assignment operator, we can assign some value to it. The semicolon at the end acts as a terminator. Now to store different types of data, C provides various data types. So let's explore some of the commonly used ones. The first basic data type in C is int which stands for integer and it is used to store numbers without the decimal places. For example, we can declare an integer variable called sum to store the sum of numbers. So how to write it? Just mention int, the variable name is sum and if we want to assign any value, we can assign it using an assignment operator. Next. We have float data type which is used to represent numbers with decimal places. Suppose we want to store a price of product. Then it can be stored in decimal values. Like float price is the variable name and let's say I have to assign a value that is 50.24. Moving on we have char data type which stands for character. And it is used to store individual characters like letters, symbols or digits. For example, if I write char ch is a variable name is equal to a. So it is storing a letter a in the respective variable. Apart from these basic data types, C also provides some other data types like double, long, short, unsigned int. So choosing appropriate data type is very crucial to ensure proper memory usage and accurate representation of your data in your programs. Also choosing wrong data type can lead to unexpected results. So by following these guidelines, we can create well-structured and reliable C programs. So just as a recap, we can say that variables are named containers that store value in programming. And C offers various data types including int, char, float and many more to handle different types of data. Choosing the right data type is crucial for memory efficiency and accurate representation of our values. So this wraps our exploration of variables and data types in C. I hope this video has provided you with a good understanding of the basic concepts. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more programming tutorials.